Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers, and we are starting ourselves a brand new series. You can see this is a little bit different than the standard Minecraft main menu. We are playing a modded my uh, modded pack. This one is called Regrowth. So the reason that we are playing modded is I tried it for the first time a few weeks ago and I really enjoyed it. So a lot of you probably know that the Hermit Pack was released a few weeks ago and a lot of the Hermits have been playing. It looked like a, a lot of fun and so uh, I downloaded it. It was my very first mod and I had a really good time. I uh, did a little bit of exploring and found that there are some that have quests. So I searched the uh, curse page, found that Regrowth has quests, and it was kind of interesting. So down here I did a little test world, and then right here I just created this so we don't have to wait. This is Yeti Grows. I have literally have not played at all on this. We'll go ahead and hit play Selected World. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently as the world loads here. Um, oh, maybe. Uh, I'm going to do this a little bit more like Let's Play style. Pretty much any time I'm on my little world here playing Regrowth, I will be recording so that we can kind of do this step by step together as we get the quests. I think it'll be more fun. I'm going to try and include as much resource gathering as I can that's not super, super boring. Uh, I might do it in fast forward or something like that. But anyway, um, let's read, open up the book and we'll get started, kind of one, understand a little bit more about what Greek growth is. So, you've awoken from a slumber once more, but this time things seem a little different. The world itself appears dead around you, a wasteland stretching off into the distance, dotted by skeletons of trees accompanied only by gray boulders. Ever more curiously, the world itself seems barren. Try as you might, you cannot find a single deposit of minerals underground, leaving you to wonder what to make of this world. As you look around, you wonder what it will take to survive here, and how you might help the world recover. All right, so we're going to click to start. So basically the purpose of this, as you can see, let's oh, close our book here real quick. It is pretty much a wasteland. And our job is to bring Mother Nature back into the world and regrow haha, all of the, <laughs> the seeds and trees and everything. So that'll be the purpose, I think, through the quests. We're going to try and get that done. Let's see. So uh, first things first, looks like over here we've got a bunch of quests, four in total, two unlocked. I think this updates as we go through and accomplish our quests. I think there's quite a few of them. Then over here are Reputation, Arcanist, Mechanist, and Geneticist. These will all go up as we uh, accomplish quests. And then over here, we're lives. Obviously, I haven't died yet. I'm sure that will change. Then we're not going to be a worry about a party or anything. So let's click here to show the quests. Looks like there's a few that we can do now. Let's look open this, what the world came to be. Uh, open that up. We've got a couple chests here that are unlocked. That's what these flashy things are. The first is Enderference. Something powerful would have been needed to remove all the ores from the world. Some sort of teleporting force at that. The tall, slim creatures you've seen at night appear to teleport wherever they appear. Perhaps they could provide some answers. So I think what we need to do is kill ourselves an Enderman. So we'll have to do that at night time. Not when we can't do right now. So let's try punching things. So this desolate world seems littered with dead trees and these gray boulders of slate. You think you may be able to salvage some materials from them with your bare hands. On closer inspection, the small, stumpy dead trees seem to have burnt to charcoal. So our task here is we need to get 10 dead wood planks, 4 charcoal, and 7 flint, and then we'll get ourselves an apple. So let's go ahead and do that. To get the charcoal, you can see right here there's a little bit of difference in the dead wood here. There's those little black things, black specks in there. You can see we got charcoal and sticks. Whack this, and then these are the deadwood planks. So we are on a good start. The flint can be found in these gray little blocks here. I think they call it slate or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, slate. You can see at the top there. So we need to get us some of these. This is what we'll eventually make our first tools out of. I played like I don't know, a few hours earlier just to make sure that this is something that I wanted to play, and I had a really good time. So we're going to press forward and continue. Let's see, how many do I have? 21, that should be plenty. Let's just knock this all out anyway. Um, let's see, so where have I been? I haven't been playing on or making videos in a while. The reason for that is I think I made mention in my last vanilla series, or my last vanilla video rather, that we were going on vacation. Um, and before that, I was super busy with work. So we went on vacation as kind of a recovery recoup. Where I work, they allow me a, about a month's worth of paid paternity leave. So we had our child at the very end of July, and unfortunately I was really busy at work so I couldn't take that paternity leave then. Um, 
I had to wait until we were less busy. We have a deadline that is September 15th, and uh, so I had to wait till after that before I could take it. And we decided since our kiddo was a little bit older, we would take our three-year-old to Disneyland. And we have a, I have a sister-in-law that happens to be working there, so it worked out really well for us. And we also have a place to stay. Mrs. Yeti's grandparents have a, uh, a, a house that we can stay at, which is great. So it was a pretty inexpensive trip for us. We spent two full days at Disney, and then we went to Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party, which was amazing. Um, our oldest, she is... Oh, one other thing that's important I should note. Anytime you see these, this is where we get bone meal, and there's like a green fertilizer that we'll need. Um, let's see, how many charcoal did I need? Oh, inventory, yay, we did it. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we got them all, okay. We got fireworks going for our achievement here. So we get our 12 apple, let's claim the reward. It's a nice little jingle for us, woohoo! All right, so now we've got two, we need such a tool. From the materials you've scrounged from the boulders and dead trees should be, uh, should be sufficient to make some rudimentary tools. So first we'll need to make the parts. And I'm not gonna read all that, so we need four tool rods, one wooden binding, two axe heads, a pickaxe head, and a shovel. We're going to make all of these out of flint, so we can do that real quick. Uh, it's getting dark. It makes it scary. Okay, so the tool rods, we need four of these, and then you just go like this to make them into f tool rods. Okay, then we need one of these, pickaxe head. I think the shovels, I think we needed two of those for a shovel and for a mattock. So we'll do two of those. The axe head, I think we needed two of those also. I swear we're missing something. Let's check the logbook. Oh, yep, the wooden bindings. Okay. So that's, oh, here we go. Back in there. Let's see. I think we need this button. And then you just make a little. No, no. No, there, there we go wooden binding. Okay, click on that. We've got it. Um, let's do the bone handguard. Oh wait, detection task. Oh, okay, so we have two parts to this. The next one, we're going to need to make the actual tools. So we need a pickaxe, hatchet, shovel, and mattock, and those should be pretty easy to make, I think, if I remember the recipes. So we're just going to keep this here, put that there, and I think this here for our pickaxe. We'll put that here. Then we need a shovel, put that there, an axe, that should go there, and then we need to combine these to get ourselves the mattock. There we go, and the mattock will do both wood and dirt. Okay, looks like we've got all that. Let's pick the bone handguard for now. I don't know if we'll ever even use it. Then let's see, okay. We've got some patterns, some earthly possessions. Let's do this one. Let's see. Basic tools are all well and good, but you feel free you should put together a workshop of sorts with the means to make yourself better tools upon the materials becoming available. Okay, so we need to make ourselves a tool station, stencil table, all these different things. Furnace, crafting table, pattern chest. Um, okay, let's start there. We might have to go underground here shortly. Uh, if we do... I will make a cut so you don't have to watch me sit there and wait for the day because it gets brutal here during the nighttime. Okay, while we wait, I think we need to do this, and if we do the flint hatchet, that makes ourselves a crafting table, and then from there, we can build the other things. Ooh, this is making me nervous. Let's see. I'm going to go find a place that we can hide real quick. And... Ooh, man, this is making me nervous. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's dig ourselves up some of this cracked sand. And this will work. We'll build ourselves a little hidey hole real quick. And then uh, I'm going to do that real quick. I'll do that off camera. And then I will come back to you once it is daylight. Actually, you know what? We can make all these little station, like all these tables and stuff, while we are in our little hidey hole. That might work out pretty well, actually. So let's do that. And we can get ourselves an achievement or a quest, I guess, not really an achievement. Let's see, okay. Let's do maybe like this. We don't want it very big because I don't have very many blocks. Let's see, we're gonna need to do this just so that we can 
get one up here. Boop. Ba -doo, ba -doo. Do, do, do. Oh man! We gotta go quicker. We're gonna get attacked. And we are out, of course. Grab a couple more. Real quick. Okay, so I was talking about Disneyland. We spent two days, full days there, which was a blast. We had a really good time. Um, it was a little bit packed because it's the middle of October, or the beginning of October, when we went down. Oh, it's dark. We can fix that real quick. Make ourselves some torches. But we had a really good time. Um, the two days, the first day, our oldest made it till about five or six. She didn't get a nap, which she normally does, which made her extra tired. So we left about five or six, I think. And then the next day, we made it all the way till eight or nine, or almost close. Anyway, we had a really good time. Okay, so we need to make a pattern table. I think I can't remember the recipe for this. Oh, let's see if I can type here. Pattern. We need a pattern chest. So we need a blank pattern and a, any kind of chest. So let's do that. And apparently, oh, right. It doesn't just add them in there for you. Not like the hermit pack does. Okay. So most of these dead wood planks you can replace for like the wood planks or logs or whatever you have. So I think we need that. Then if we go this, oh, we need a chest first, I think. Okay, let's do this, make ourselves a chest, and then make a pattern, okay, a pattern chest. Then we are going to need, um, let's see, table. We need a stencil table. So there's a pattern and an oak wood plank. So we'll do a pattern here, one of these, perfect. What else do we have? Stencil tables. I can't see anything there. Okay, I can't remember. I'm gonna have to open up the quest book here. So we got that, that. Let's do a tool station, part builder, and a furnace. I don't have any cobblestone. Let's tool station. Do, 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 do. Add that real quick. I'm gonna go through all these patterns already, which is just fine. Oh, we're going to have to make ourselves a crafting bench first. So we go this way. Nope, we don't. That and our hatchet again. Boom. Boom. And boom. Okay. Oh, man. Horrible memory. Can't remember what the last thing is. And part builder. Okay. Let's do this. Go to part builder. we go. Part builder, box wood, log, ecular says pattern. Let's see. We do this and this. Is that a part builder? Let's see. Stencil table. Uh, dead wood planks. How do we make the log? I know there's a way to do it. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Is it a plank maybe? Not a pressure plate. We don't want that. Let's check our book. I think it, there's a way to, that'll tell us here. Restricted dead planks. Check have nine wood planks together. You'll be able to make a crafting table of crafting. Oh, okay. Let's see. Dead wood. Oh, let's see. Any logs you may need may be able to substitute for reconstruct a block of dead wood. Okay, nine dead wood planks together. That should do it. All right. So we need nine of these guys. Real quick. Boop. That'll work. And then I think there's a pattern. Okay. The last thing we need is cobblestone. Maybe if we dig down a little bit, we can find one. That'll be the hope. So um, our oldest, she is obsessed with Buzz Lightyear and Toy Story. We had so much fun. We rode, um, for those of you who've been to Disneyland, there is, in Tomorrowland, there is a ride that is Astro Blasters, which is um, essentially you just help Buzz shoot and fight Zerg with those little laser guns, and you rack up points and stuff. She had so much fun with that. It was really loud and <laughs> We had a blast. I think we rode that one probably, I don't know, eight times a day or something. It was ridiculous. But um, she had a good time, which was fun. And that is our youngest screaming in the background. So I will be right back. Actually, we may as well just call that right now after we build this substance furnace and get our um, get ourselves this last uh, quest.
and we will pick up where we left off next time. So look at all these good stuff we got. Woo! And anyway, I apologize for being gone for so long. I'm going to include some modded. I hope to get back to my vanilla series as well. But until next time, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and we'll catch up with you next time.